Alright YouTube, I got an interesting one here today. Uh, it's a 2001 Chevy Cavalier with a 2.2, not the 2.4. Um, check engine light was on, still on actually. I scanned it and I came up with a P0507 idle control system RPM too high. So, uh, of course I proceeded to use the scan tool to actually check the idle air control motor and bump the idle up and down and it is functioning, it does what it's supposed to do. I looked at the throttle body, it's actually really clean. So maybe somebody already had cleaned it, I don't know, but anyway, it's clean. So from that point I suspected vacuum leak. I took my smoke machine and pumped smoke in through the uh, brake booster hose into the intake system. Um, I did find a very small intake gasket leak, um, but I don't think it's enough to cause this code, or I don't think it's enough to cause the issue that we got here. Um, but uh, something else that I found interesting, hopefully the camera will pick it up. I have to start it here for you. This, hopefully you can hear the engine. I am not using, I am not on the brake pedal right now. When I push the pedal, like now, the idle drops. Let back off, picks back up. It's not quite as noticeable when the engine's cold. I just, it's just, it's the first time I started here tonight. It's 11 o'clock at night. Let's see if I can get into the data here and show you the RPM since the car doesn't have a tachometer of its own. Let's see here. Data. Let's just go to fuel trim data. Uh, speaking of fuel trim, I would think I'd see something wrong here. But I really don't. The uh, uh, has is hard to film one hand here. And now you can see them better. That's not highlighted. The top, the short term is negative six, bouncing around, back to zero. Long term is at zero. Although, oops, that is closed. We are in closed loop. So I don't know. Seems kind of quick to be in closed loop. Anyway, for some reason the fuel trims are showing normal, which does not make sense. Well, let me see if I can find the uh, RPM here. Might not be on this list. No. Let's go to engine data. And so here, the top two, desired idle and engine speed, which is actually really close, although it's still cold, so let me see what we can do. I'm pushing the brake pedal now, there you can see the idle drops way down, it comes back up a little bit, let off, jumps up over a thousand. on the brake down to almost 600 off the brake jumps up over a thousand so definitely something going on with the brakes here I'm gonna say brake booster because something else I did already off camera Let's see if I can do it for you quick back here at the brake booster hose I take a pair of pliers and just kind of pinch it a little bit. The engine almost stole out completely. And that's why I let go. Picks the way up. So yeah. Something's going on there with the brake booster. Turn this back off so it doesn't get too awful hot. I can reach it. There we go. 
what I don't understand is why the fuel trims aren't showing some kind of a leak to the atmosphere but they're not so what I'm going to do is pull the master cylinder off and hopefully I don't know I've seen where these things can actually get a rust hole in them but I think I'm also I, I did put the smoke machine uh, <clears throat> what did I do I put it oh yeah I put I took this hose off here and put it right in the end of the uh, check valve which I don't think that would have worked no wait yeah it would it would go in that way I believe I'm gonna have to think about that <laughs> anyway what I'm also going to do is I'm going to pull the check valve out of there and put smoke right into the booster itself and eliminate the check valve but uh, when I did do it from out here I did not see any leaks which I found odd um, still trying to think if that thing holds thing holds vacuum in yeah I can't remember although there should be vacuum here and there's not I think I might do that right now on camera grab my smoke machine and blow in through there and see if we see anything so if you bear with me here a second try to make this pretty quick my camera will let me See if I can get a close up of this. There's definitely a hole in that booster somewhere. I'll let this clear out a second. Grab another light and try to light up down in there so you can actually see it on camera. camera still and reach to the power button. Wow. Looks like it's coming from the very back side of it. <laughs> I think I can feel the hole. It's not very big, but enough well anyway there you go there's a problem with the booster <laughs> plain and simple um, so yeah I'm glad I did that because like I said before I was trying to blow it right in through here with this hose off and the check valve obviously does not let it flow in through that way so I didn't even think about that at the time but I was in a hurry because the guy was waiting on it but I was pretty certain there was an issue with the brake booster regardless but uh, anyway I'll uh, shut the camera off and 
See if I can get this booster started up out of here anyway tonight. Um, I guess I can uh, maybe do some uh, pointers on getting us out of here. I don't know if I'm going to have to. Don't know if I'm going to have to disconnect the brake lines or not. I'm kind of hoping not. But I guess I can take my hose out of there. I don't know. It looks like there's a fair amount of room in there. Man, I can get that ABS pump up out of there and out of the way that'll help I I think I can get it up out of there at least I hope I can but either way I'll let you know and see you for now